There are nine students in the class and 72 tickets. If the tickets are divided equally among the students, how many does each student get? These are answers to other word problems. So our third grade students who are identified as GTD last year will go to a fourth grade teacher to receive their math instruction. This year, our third grade students identified as GTD are staying in the third grade classroom and receiving instruction alongside their peers by a third grade teacher and a GTD teacher who is pushing into the classroom. This year, we're having all students do the third grade curriculum, but we're building in enrichment opportunities for all the students in the classroom, um, either students who might pass out of a, or test out of a topic within the unit or within the module um, of Eureka Math, but also even if a student doesn't pass out of a topic, they're still given enrichment opportunities um, by us, the GTDs, who go into the third grade classroom once a week. From the GTD perspective, I know that in the past, when we'd have students skip the whole year of third grade, they would usually do very well in fourth grade math, but they would often have sort of holes in their knowledge that would pop up um, throughout time because they missed important fundamentals that were introduced and taught in third grade. So we're hoping that the big benefit for that group of students is that they not only get that foundation of third grade math, but with the extra enrichment, they're also getting the challenge. And then for all the students who are not part officially of the GTD program, they're still getting um, a lot more extra enrichment than they would have gotten in the past. And they're able to work to a higher potential and work with higher level thinking that um, may not have been available to them or introduced to them in the past. 18, 20, 18, 20, 18, 20. What's happening from 18 to 20? Where are we taking it to? 18, 20. A zero, a 10. One positive thing is that it's more equitable. So whereas there was one test maybe in second grade and you know they would have to have three in a row uh, tests in the MAP scores where they were above 95%. Um, sometimes it would kind of lock students in or some students maybe you know they perform really well in the class and they're capable of getting the enrichment or maybe they had a bad testing day. So it just opens the door and it's not so rigid and it's more fluid so more people have the opportunity to test in. On the first line, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Counting by threes. I think there's definitely a much higher level of engagement in class. There seems to be more excitement. And all the teachers have reported back that the kids just seem much more excited and um, and ready to go with math this year and just are really enjoying all the extra um, breadth of experience they're getting.